Good morning, y'all. Thought I would bring you guys down to the basement and give you an update on the crawdad pond. They seem to be doing pretty good. All right, y'all. Thought I'd make a short little video and update you guys on my crawdad farm. Um, if you've been watching my YouTube channel and saw some of my other videos, I talk a little bit about it here and there. But I thought I'd sit down and do a good five minute review of how my uh, little crawdad pond is doing down here. And uh, I guess I would say that it's doing good. Um, they haven't bred, but I think that could be water temperature. I really need to uh, get serious um, this winter and really do my research and get figured out what do they require to breed because I've seen them breed a lot, but nothing has came from it. You know, no eggs, no babies, um, you know, so it hasn't came through fruition. Um, I thought at one point I was down to two for the longest time I could only find two but what I have found is they dig down into the rocks and burrow and I think it's a lot because the water temperature is really cold I would say the water temperature is like 60 to 65 degrees somewhere around in there and um, that's where it, where it stays all the time so I may have to look into uh, a heat source to get the water warm enough for them to um, be able to to hatch so right now as it sets the about the only thing I've done plant wise is I've added a bunch of uh, duckweed and it has taken off but it's not complete and that could be water temperature as well um, you're not gonna be able to see this one very well but back here in the corner there is a crawdad right down there you can see a little bit of his body one right there and I know there is one right here because I've had him out fiddling with him here in the last five minutes or so that glare seems to go everywhere I move the camera there he is that's a good view of him he's really big I think he's the biggest out of all of them there's usually one always underneath this little concrete ramp here that I've made for them. There sure is. That's burrowed down there pretty good. Can't get the glare to where I can see. I don't know if you guys can see him very well, but he's there. And that's pretty much all of the ones that I've been able to find tonight. Can't see any of the others. And all I'm doing for filtration is I'm just pumping it up into this little grow bed which all of my plants are pretty much died off but it does have to go through all the rocks and then it siphons out once every once in a while and a fountain's down in there and the water stays crystal clear I've never tested pH or anything like that the crawdads have been living in here for since Father's Day in June and it is October now so July, August, September, October. So about four months, somewhere around in there, they've been living in here and um, they're doing well. They're just not reproducing yet. And um, I'm assuming that that has a lot to do with temperature. I was trying to find a pallet whenever I first set this thing up and I was gonna put this pool on a pallet and I just didn't do it. 
So if I ever take this thing down, I would probably put it on a pallet to get it up off the cold concrete floor. But other than that, they're doing good. I've never done a water change in the four months that I've had this going. Um, actually what I do is every time I do a water change on my koi pond, the water that I take out of the koi pond, I add in here because it does evaporate out of here. And like this weekend, I um, took some of the water that I took from the uh, upstairs that I was putting in the fresh water. I had enough to top off my breeder tank because of the evaporation. And I had enough to do a 50% water change on the uh, community tank upstairs. And the water that I left had left over was like two and a half gallons. And I poured it in here and topped this one off. I have had escapes, if you've watched my channel long enough, I've had escapes, I've only had one die, I didn't find it in time, but I'm down here every single day because I have to feed them, and um, you know, there for a while I thought I only had two and that I'd lost four altogether, but um, they're in here. Whenever I started floating that driftwood, <laughs> um, the tannins that released out into the water it was just like all of a sudden six crawdads were all around that driftwood for the whole two weeks that I had it in here. So I may this summer find me a really good piece of driftwood to put in there because it like made them feel more comfortable. Plus I think the tannins made the water parameters just the way they like it or something. Anyhow, that updates my crawdad pond and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed what you doing dozy what you doing boo boy what you doing baby come here boopy oh yeah mm, good boy he's a good boy yes he is he's a good boy oh. that is the update y'all I don't get to do much as I want with the crawdad farm. They stay hidden all the time, so you have to kind of force them to come out. I do plan on trying to heat the water a little bit this fall and winter to try to keep it at a you know standard temperature. That way maybe I can get them to spawn this, this next spring. But uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out, y'all.